Hey Simmers! Yesterday I uploaded a video about Realm of Magic and how I was getting ready for the new pack by making spreads in my Sims journal. And I also showed you a list of all potions that are in Realm of Magic, which I found with all their purposes, all their ingredients. If you're looking for that, that's not in this video. It's in my previous video, uh, the one with journaling spreads for Realm of Magic. So go look for it if you want all the details and all, and all the potions. But what we're getting into today is where you can find all those ingredients because I found out only two of them will come with Realm of Magic and that's Mandrake and Valyrian Root. Both of those you can only get from Realm of Magic but all the other ingredients you can get from the base game, from the different worlds that we already have. So you can start collecting right now. Some of them are easy, some of them are more difficult. So if you want to get a head start, if you want to be ready for the game back when it comes out this Tuesday, keep watching because I'll help you find everything you need. I made this alphabetical list of all the ingredients. I will um, put it down. Before we're going to start collecting items, one tip, level your gardening skill. You need it at level 10 because you want death flower and dragon fruit and both of those can only be found in the rare seed packets that you can buy for a thousand simoleons only if you're a high level gardener with a level 10 skill. Of course, if you already have that skill on any other sim you've made before, go get some rare seed packets, get some death flower seeds, get some dragon fruit seeds and help your new witch or wizard out. Okay, let's start with the most difficult ones, death flower and dragon fruit. You can graft them, but that's very time consuming. Or you can get lucky and buy them. If you have a level 10 skill gardener, you can just get the, yeah, those. You can just get the uh, rare seed packets when you click the planner box. They are a thousand simoleons each and you don't know what's in them. I'm not sure if they're worth it. I spent 16,000 simoleons and got two death flowers. Okay, in this game, you're gonna have to do a lot, a lot, and I mean a lot of digging, but that's how, amongst other things, I got Baconite right there. Um, you can get from digging, you can find crystals, metals, uh, boxes that contains those Sims trophies. Uh, like right here, I'm finding turquoise. And all of these are useful in the potions that you can make in Realm of Magic. See, there we are. All right, moving on. Digging some more. What am I finding here? Oh yeah, a Sims trophy. I didn't find Zombie Crawl, which you're gonna need in the expansion, but um, this is how you might be able to find him, but he's pretty rare. I hope he'll be available from vendors as well. So yeah, that's just another Sims trophy that was not useful right now. But that's how you find them. Okay. When you go digging, you can also find alabaster, you can find citrine, I hope I pronounced that correctly, you can find diamonds, um, you can find emeralds, fire opals, furium, lots of things you're going to need in Realm of Magic. Okay, moving on to frogs. You can get frogs from these things, these logs. Um, but you have to get lucky and you can only click them once. But you can also go to one of the ponds in Oasis Springs where I got all of the frogs I needed. Because as you can see, you can just click, 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 look for frogs over and over and over again. And you will fail many times, but most of the time, well not most of the time, but lots of times you will actually find what you're looking for. I was able to find all the frogs I needed, as you can see. And then some. I found pretty much every frog that it exists, I think. I found lots of frogs. Lots and lots and lots of frogs. Yep. Just by digging in those ponds. So there's one I haven't been able to find, or actually two. I know that cherry and lemon, they grow on trees and plants in Oasis Springs. I have been able to find several lemon trees, but they were not in season, so I could not harvest them, which is a shame. You also need fishing to find angelfish, salmon, goldfish, and kissing gourami. I was able to find all of them, but not angelfish, because for angelfish, you have to go to rivers in Willow Creek. And, well, I was a bit stupid. Don't be like me. I started my witch sim 
in winter because the gurus said during their live stream that Glimmerbrook is super pretty in the snow. But yeah, what do you know? You can't go fishing in Willow Creek in winter. Everything is frozen. So I could not find angelfish. I should have started in spring or summer instead. But I didn't. Okay, then this is one of the more easy ones. You can actually just get parsley and sage from seed packets. The starter herb seed packets that you can just buy from your planter box. So that's easy. But the easiest by far, saved for last, is the gift buying on the computer. Because through the computer you can actually just get apples, roses, and potatoes. Now, for the roses, I have to say, um, the spell book said you need rose for the potion of the transcendent charmer. But it doesn't specify if you need the rose as in the flower or rose as in the crystal. Because if you need the rose crystal, you're going to have to dig that up. I hope this video was helpful. I think it was. I don't get it. I got this information from the live stream that was watched by thousands of people and I didn't see this potion info pop up anywhere. None of the regular news websites have this information covered. So, And they usually get every single detail from there. So I'm really happy I found out all the potions, all their purposes, all the ingredients. I hope you're gonna have a lot of fun collecting everything you need for this Tuesday. Um, happy simming, happy collecting, and I wish you a lot of fun when Realm of Magic comes out this Tuesday. Bye-bye.